campus. Is it recording? Yeah. You take your campus and you put it on the middle and you pinpoint the find the most um, the find the, the most furthest point, which is in our example is the one thirty divided by two, which is. No, I think I've made it twice the size, but anyway, that's fine. You put your campus here on the point, and then you take it from here, and then you plot it out coming to there. Then you have your point there, and after that, the next step that you do, you connect this line with this point, with a faint, a very faint construction line. There we go. And then next, you're going to take your campus, you pin it, pinpoint it right at the top of this dimension here, and then you, you pin it on there, and you bring this down. Where it touches, that's where you stop. Now, you measure this to this position, and you make two points. You make the one point with the campus. You take the campus, when you've measured these two points, you come and make a point on the outside, and you take the very same point, you put it, um, if you look at these stages, you'll have that. There's the straight line and from here this measurement that you get from here is what you're gonna put your compass on here you'll have your point which is outside the drawing and you then come again you do another point there which is gonna land somewhere here and then these two points you then connect them together you go down all the way and you've got you technically 50% away from um, completing your drawing Next is just replicating what you have on this side, on this side. You measure this length, it's 65 technically, then you give me another 65 on this side, which is 60, oh, 6120 somewhere here. So you've got that point and you've got this connecting point, you shoot it out. Okay. Now you've got this lowest point, now to get this one point on the top, you measure what this distance is it's about 90 and you get your 90 again on this side there is your 90 so this will be your highest point point. and now what you do you again then ensure that you get your second point this in terms of stages it's this position and i must now find where to plot on this side and where this is going to cross so basically where this touches and where that touches that's where this line is going to go and touch also it's there and you do the same thing on the side you've got it on there and there so what what is the use of these lines the use of these lines are very simple okay my pen is dying the use of these lines are very simple now to draw the closing side of this ellipse the closing side comes to this side you take your campus you put it opposite once you pinpoint it here it's gonna then you'll be able to draw this side and it comes there this is just a guesstimate but it's on point you take this pinpoint you pin it here and then you do the same thing again on this side you'll see your campus will allow you to make that big wide opening and now you're basically 99 percent there to get this closing side you put your campus on this point and it's gonna come nicely and close up there and you do the same thing here, it goes down, it closes down there. You make sure you use solid lines for your ellipse and everything else is in construction lines. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how to draw an ellipse. Thank you very much and good luck.